Uh, well, you know, a ways behind uh, where we want to be, yes, yeah. but uh, further along than we were last year. So uh, we've, we've got a ways to go. We've got to get our protection solid, and we've got to get in a lot better running routes, and we've got to get better throwing the football. Some of that kind of just the lack of continuity you had last year still lingering a little bit with the injuries and stuff like that, and that's taking some time? Or? Well, I think that's probably always the uh, the last thing to come around is the, the, the throwing and the catching part of it. Uh, you know, you got uh, uh, three quarterbacks that had three starts in there, and you have a lot of receivers, like you said, that uh, didn't get to play with each other very much, you know. So uh, uh, it has a little to do with it, but... Uh, uh, we got to uh, get on the same page real quick here. Uh, Normando Harris, I thought he was the fourth receiver for you guys coming out of the spring, and obviously he's on defense now. Was that a product of somebody else emerging at receiver or th just a need on defense? Uh, or? A little bit of both. We felt like, uh, you know, with our recruiting that we, we had this past year, we, we signed the uh, – uh, Raheem Moster kid, who's uh, one of the fastest kids on our team, and is the uh, had the uh, highest numbers, you know, in the in the off season uh, at the receiver position. So we felt like it, it'd give us a, a little bit more depth uh, at the corner spot, and, uh, and give us a chance to to make sure that uh, uh, we had the people over. It's hard to hide those corners. You can hide the receivers a little better than you can hide the corners. What's Raheem? Uh, Raheem's doing very well. He's uh, uh, ability-wise, he's he's, uh, he's excellent. He's got to get it down. Uh, it's uh, it's a lot different where you're reading coverages and then making uh, route adjustments that he's never been used to. So uh, mentally, uh, he's uh, have, has a ways to go. What do you think just generally about the offense so far in camp? I know you wanted to kind of focus, you know, not turning it over, kind of making silly mistakes and stuff like that. I think we've been really inconsistent. We've shown some flashes of being uh, really good. Uh, but uh, we've got to get a lot more consistent and, and be able to, to drive the ball uh, more consistently than we have been. We've looked good or five or six plays, and then two plays we've uh, we've been really bad. So uh, we've got to get ourselves consistent. Now, obviously, only after a couple of days of practice here. Well, obviously, anytime this this pass rush, this uh, opportunity to to get to the quarterback and get off the field on defense if it's third down. But in general, you have to generate some pass rush. I mean, we'll do it with a combination of guys and a combination of schemes. It's hard to replace a, you know, a guy who was the first-team All-American and first-round draft pick. But it's not the first time it's happening at Purdue. So we're, we're used to it and we're ready for it. And the guys are doing a great job of uh, uh, getting better. Do you feel like you have guys who can do it on their own? Or do you almost go in thinking we might have to scheme a little bit more to... Uh to kind of get after the quarterback a little bit. I, I think that will be determined as we continue on with, with, with the season here. But we got guys we feel we can get there on our own. Mm -hmm. Just, I guess, from a defensive perspective, what have you liked so far through camp? Anybody catching your eye? Anything you like so far? Well, the thing I like is, is that the whole team has a great attitude. Uh, they're working extremely hard. Every, every day, everyone's improving and working to get better. So. Uh, individually, there's been a number of guys in every position on all levels. The linebackers, the secondary, the D-line, that just caught my eye. But in, in general, there's, there's a bunch of guys that are, are improving. Um, Ryan Russell, at defensive end, just has, how's he doing so far? Uh, he, he's doing well. I mean, he's getting better. I mean, he's a, he's a, 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 a freshman, first time playing. So, But he's coming out here every day. He's working hard. He has a lot of ability. He has a lot of raw, natural ability, a lot of talent. And he's improving each time out. How much easier does it, I guess, make your guys' job as coaches that you've got all that experience now in the secondary, as opposed to last year when you had none? <laughs> uh, it's never easy as a, a job as coaches, uh, no matter how much experience you got, because that was last year and uh, you learn from things. But uh, it, it certainly helps when guys have seen things before and they react to things a little bit better. So it helps a little bit. You know, our secondary is improving. We got all the guys returning. Uh, that's a tremendous help. We got the linebackers back, and we got most of the guys up front back. But you still have to get together and, and produce and, and get things done on the field. Just, I guess, how big an asset for your defense are just your two corners, especially now that they've got experience. They both had had good years last year as young players, and now they've got experience to kind of get better. Right. Any any time you have uh, good corners or good players, it helps you tremendously. Uh, you know, with Josh Johnson and and, uh, and uh, Ricardo Allen, and then. Lamando Harris and, and Mike Ergel and Al Williams. So we got a lot of a lot of great prospects there at the corner position.